My name is Andrew. This is Rogue Wrenching. Today we are talking about the glow plug system on the 7.3. We're working on an old body style 7.3, so this is a 1995 model year. So basically what you're going to see in this video is going to be exactly what you've got if you've got a 1994 and a half through 1997 model year 7.3, but this information does apply to all model years of 7.3s. 7.3s rely heavily on glow plugs in order to start in cold conditions. Cold for a 7.3 is anything below about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The first and most important thing that you need to know about checking the glow plug system on this is you need to check them when they're cold before they've been cycled. Basically what you need to know is the outside pins on the valve cover gasket connectors are the pins that control the glow plug. You can measure these glow plugs in two ways. The first is using a test light. The second is using a multimeter set to ohm to measure the resistance of the glow plug. You're looking for about 0.8 ohms plus or minus a tenth of an ohm. Generally speaking, when these glow plugs go out, you will see dramatically more than that. You'll see something like 60 ohms or open. If the circuit is open, it's time to replace the glow plug. In the absence of a multimeter or a tight budget, you can actually use a test light. And the way you use a test light to check them is test light to measure glow plug is you're gonna hook one end to battery positive, so the positive post on the battery, and use the other end and touch the outside harness connector pins in the valve cover gasket. The other important thing to test when you're checking a glow plug system is the glow plug relay. The way you do that is you measure voltage drop across the two main pins. So you're going to set up a multimeter clamp, each lead to the, both big pins, set your voltage range, and turn the key to the run position. When the key cycles, you should see the voltage that you're measuring go from battery voltage to zero or close to zero. If you've got more than a half a volt of drop across the relay, replace your relay. Anytime you're replacing the glow plug, you're also gonna to wanna to replace the relay because new glow plugs are gonna draw more current than old glow plugs and they'll burn out your old relay, even if it was working fine before you did the repair. So to check this relay with a test light, connect the, the probe ends like this and then turn the key on. If when you turn the key on, that light bulb turns off, your glow plug relay is working correctly. If that light bulb stays lit, once the glow plug relay clicks, your glow plug relay is no good and needs to be replaced. The glow plug relay is a fairly straightforward PCM controlled relay. It is not a starter relay. If you need to replace this, go to Ford and buy an OE glow plug relay. This does not function like a starter relay does. Glow plug relay control is by the PCM. It is a power and ground to actuate the relay. It is not a single wire actuation. So you have got to replace this with a glow plug relay and not with a starter relay. Even though they look the same, they function completely different. If you've got any kind of glow plug system issue, it is always the best policy to replace the glow plugs, the valve cover gaskets, and the glow plug relay. The reason you replace the relay and the valve cover gaskets is there is a tendency to burn pins in the valve cover gasket harnesses and the PCM pigtails. That's why when you buy a new valve cover gasket, it comes with pigtails so you can rewire that if the pins are burned. That's all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.